Good morning campers and welcome back to Lotus Operations and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can take your simple sticks and firewood from simple hardwoods around you and make your very own concrete out of it which will work just as effective as regular concrete. So let's begin. So when you're trying to attempt to make concrete out of wood ash and natural elements around you you need to make sure that the wood that you collect is a type of hardwood do not use pine or do not use the softer style trees due to the fact that they create a weaker bond and your concrete will fall apart preferably oak is the best but if you can find the extremely hard wood that will result in your best concrete um combinations so let's build up our fire build up our bed of ash and then we will okay go guys the welcome step. back so the combination of wood that i'm going to be building up for my ash stockpile for this uh brick project today is a mixture between some walnut wood and some japanese elm wood so combination because that's what i have on my hand and the other type of woods i have is pine and like i said before you do not you want to use pine wood because it will create the weakest bond so you burn your wood down you get a nice bed of ashes make sure the container you're burning in is clean and does not have dirt or other impurities or foreign objects in it which could weaken, weaken the concrete and once you get the amount of ashes you need to make whatever you're trying to make then we will go to the mixing stage and good morning campers and welcome back to lotus operations and the second step you are going to do is once you have your ash content that is uh, fully cooled down you are going to take all of this ash content here you're going to put it into a bucket and create a mud like paste hello so everybody and welcome back to lotus operations and as you can see i added the water to my ash and as you can see i got a dark like slushy like mud like substance here now what you want to do is you're going to drain off any excess water that you have and then allow the rest to evaporate until it becomes a malleable paste like um substance and then we will begin to reforge it back again. to lotus operations and as you can see now we have a paste to where we can put our fingerprints in and this is what you want so now what you're going to do is you're going to create about two inch balls or like cubes whatever you want and then you're going to take and restick them back into a fire to where you can cure them with the heat until either they're glowing red or they are completely cooked okay everybody way. as you see we have our balls made they're about two inch balls and we are getting our fire going so what you want to do is you want to build yourself up a good bed of coals so you can be able to set them on top of if you use an outdoor grill expect about 40 minutes of propane on high heat at about 700 degrees and that will get them at the correct um, consistency for curing that you need to make your concrete but we are going to attempt to fire with coals instead okay everybody we method. have our fire going waiting for our uh, fire to get to the right conditions we need but unfortunately i am moving all my balls into this little chamber bucket right here that i usually cook everything in because i do not have the right type of utensils to be able to retrieve them once they are ready out of the coals so i'm going to have them in here and create a forge like chamber for them to cook in so once this fire gets low enough to where this can be stabilized we're going to put these on the fire and then begin to cook them until they are nice and ready good evening campers and this is the status of our thingamajigs right now as you can see i'm trying to reflect some of the light in there but the bottom of the pan is glowing and they are continuously cooking so we are going to keep cooking them until they are 100 percent dry and nice and glowing as you can see here the things are 100 percent done okay campers as you can see this is the color you're looking for so we're going to let these cool down to the touch as you can hear, they are cooling down. Um, so do not set this on the grass or on wood because this pan will be hot enough that it will ignite them back on fire. So we're gonna let them cool down to the touch and then put them into the water. But this is the color that you want them to be when they are complete. Okay, campers and welcome back. So once, while actually, while these puppies are cooling down because you want them to get them to the point where they're still extremely hot but cool enough to the touch so you don't burn yourself 
But once they are cool enough to the touch, you want to drop them into water, just enough water to actually, basically, I forgot what it's called, but like you singe them, you cure them into a type of state to where they go from ash to a more of a bondage type of material. Um, have your mold ready, have everything ready. You need to get your sand ready, in which I'm gonna grab that right quick because they're still too hot to do, but have all your supplies ready because once you throw them in, then you begin to mix and make your concrete. So let me grab my sand. And as you can hear it hissing, which that is a good thing, but as you can see, we are creating a concrete style mortar paste and we want to get it as a good consistency before we add in our sand. Okay, so once you have enough mixed in and you have it all back into the water and you get it to where you want it, then you're going to add in your sand. I've got so far four balls in there. I'm going to grab another one right quick. To bring in the fifth ball we're gonna break it in as you can see it's still glowing inside and that's what you want is because you want it to singe it you're gonna create a paste mud like substance now this is enough here then we're gonna put in our sand and create the blend now not too much sand I did too much sand in the last time and it basically made it to where um, it was too weak and it did not adhere so we're going to do less sand this time and the best thing to do is to actually just play around with it. Man, this stuff smells just like concrete. Play around with it until you get it to a consistency and it's going to take trial and errors. You're never going to get it on your first try. It will take a few tries to actually get it to where you need it to be exactly like concrete. And it's going to be slightly warm, so don't be scared. You know, you're going to mix it in. Gonna add a little bit more sand at a time. You're gonna get it until you get it to where you feel is comfortable, and then you pour your mold, and then you see if it holds. And if it holds, you're good. If it doesn't, try again. Okay, everybody. So I think I have a good consistency here. Like I said, this is trial and error. That's why you need to practice now before things collapse. Now, this is not the best way of making concrete. This is just if you desperately need concrete to make like bowls. Or something else like this this would not be something you're going to be trying to do to make a house so this would just be for like temporary use or stuff like that but we are now going to put this into our mold let it dry and see how well it holds out but this is the process and it's all trial and error and you have to play around with it and see what works best for you so let's pour it in our mold and here we go we have our mold here we're gonna pour our concrete into our mold We'll set this down real quick. Then we're going to take and we're going to press our brick down. Okay, everybody, and Here's what I'm going to show you while this cures. We've got our brick in here, which is smashed out. I'm letting it cure a little bit. As you can see, our concrete is in there, and it smells just like concrete. Hopefully, it works. Now, this is our previous brick that we had, and I'm going to show you what happens when it fails. Is As you can see here, that it is, if you add too much sand, it will actually be weak, where it can just crumble apart. And in order to test your concrete to see if it passes or not you need to stick it back into a container of water if it does not dissolve and it stays as a solid um formation a solid brick then you made a successful concrete brick but if it does this to where it breaks apart and crumbles in here then it is not a successful piece of concrete so that is how you make concrete um you allow it to dry for three days so hopefully this one will actually become successful or not but that is the entire process of making concrete so 
I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Um, have fun trying y'all's own versions. Remember hardwood, not pine. And good luck out there. But the entire steps, if you want to read the entire steps, they are on my website at lotusoperations.weebly.com. And you can download the survival manual, which will give you step-by-step -step on how to make this. And you can start making your own miniature concrete for whatever your needs is. So have fun and Lotus Operations out. And before we go, I'm actually going to be able to release this mold here. And as you can see, here is our block of concrete of what it is going to look like. So now we're going to let this cure for three days. So Lotus Operations out and have fun.